Five people can dig a ditch in one day. Now this is a very interesting situation. There are actually three variables here. Three things that can vary. The number of days could vary. The number of people could vary. And the number of ditches could vary. Let's say first of all that we will examine the situation of one ditch. That we're not changing the number of ditches. And if there's one ditch and then those five people can dig it in one day, then that gives us one rate, basically. But what happens if we have one person, then how many days would they take to dig that one ditch? They surely would take five times as long, right? Or five days. Then what about if we have two people digging that one ditch? They should take two and a half days, right? And then if we have three people, I'm just going to tell you, it's going to be 5 over 3 days that they will take, and here 5 over 4, or 1 and 1 fourth days. And we can see that whenever the number of people increases by 1, these amounts don't increase by the same amount. In fact, they decrease. This is not a proportional relationship at all. Now, you could also examine the situation between the ditches and people, these two variables. And let's say you said, okay, how about two ditches? And if the days are the same, if there's two ditches and there's just one day, then you need the double amount of people. And if there's just one day and you want to have three ditches done, then you would need 15 people, right? And so on. Then between the ditches and people, whenever this increases by 1, these are increasing by 5. So that is a proportional relationship. Okay. But for now, I want to just look at this part of my chart. Okay. This where the people and days, they were not in proportion. And I will plot those here in the people and days coordinate grid. We have one person and five days up here. Then two people, two and a half. Three people would be one and two thirds. This is a little over one and this is exactly one. And uh, these are going downhill like that. If it was a proportional relationship, you would have a straight line through the origin, going somewhere. Like we had here. And you've seen other examples too. This is an example of an inverse variation, we call it. And when it is in proportion, we call it also direct variation. Direct variation, inverse variation.